Hey y'all, it's Jen and welcome to my channel Ifers Inklings. This is a tag for Tag Tuesday. I will be doing the Poetry Tube Newbie Tag. The original was created by Strip Cover Lit and I was tagged by Strip Cover Lit. So stick around to see my answers to this these tag questions. This is Tag Tuesday, and I am doing the Poetry Tube Newbie Tag that was created by Adrian at Strip Cover Lit. Um, I was also tagged by Adrian to do this tag. So, here are my answers. Question number one, do you read and write poetry, or do you just read it? Really, I just read poetry. I, here lately, have been inspired to write a couple things um, I'm not really good at it it's not something that I do frequently it's not something I have a desire to do but every now and then something will come to mind and I just have to write it down question number two who is your favorite poet um, that is Charles Bukowski hands down by far question number three what is one question you would ask your favorite poet um, well I don't know that there would be any questions I could ask Charles Bukowski. Um, I would be probably pretty intimidated by him. Question number four, what is your favorite poem? So my favorite poem is Prayer and Bad Weather, but it's a little crass and um, I don't want to read it for this, um, this prompt. So, my other favorite poem by him is Quiet Clean Girls in Gingham Dresses by Charles Bukowski. All I've ever known are whores, ex-prostitutes, mad women. I see men with quiet, gentle women. I see them in the supermarkets. I see them walking down the streets together. I see them in their apartments. People at peace, living together. I know that their peace is only partial, but there is a peace, often hours and days of peace. All I've ever known are pill freaks, alcoholics, whores, ex-prostitutes, mad women. When one leaves, another arrives, worse than her predecessor. I see so many men with quiet, clean girls in gingham dresses. Girls with faces that are not wolverine or predatory. Don't ever bring a whore around, I tell my friends. I'll fall in love with her. You couldn't stand a good woman, Bukowski. I need a good woman. I need a good woman more than I need this typewriter, more than I need my auto automobile, more than I need Mozart. I need a good woman so badly that I can taste her in the air. I can feel her at my fingertips. I can see sidewalks built for her feet to walk upon. I can see pillows for her head. I can feel my waiting laughter. I can see her petting a cat. I can see her sleeping. I can see her slippers on the floor. I know that she exists. But where is she upon this earth as the whores keep finding me? Um, and that one is in Love is a Dog from Hell. Question number five, what is your favorite poem to read aloud? I don't typically do a lot of reading aloud of poetry, but I really do enjoy Walt Whitman's Oh Captain, My Captain. Oh Captain, my captain, our fearful, fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every rack, the prize we sought is won. The port is near, the bells I hear, the people all exulting. While follow eyes the steady kill, the vessel grim and darling. But oh heart, 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 oh the bleeding drops of red. Where on the deck my captain lies, fallen, cold, and dead. Oh captain, my captain, rise up and hear the bells. Rise up, for you the flag is flung, for you the bugle trills. For you, bouquets and ribboned wreaths. For you, the shores are crowding. For you, they call, the swaying mass, their eager faces turning. Here, Captain, dear father, the arm beneath your head. It is some dream that on the deck you've fallen, cold and dead. My captain does not answer. His lips are pale and still. My father does not feel my arm. He has no pul pulse nor will. The ship is anchored safe and sound, its voyage closed and done. From fearful trip, the victor ship comes with an object won. Exalto shores and ringo bells, but I with mourn mournful tread, 
Walk the deck, my captain lies, fallen, cold, and dead. Question number six is, who is your Mount Rushmore of poetry? And, I don't know. I can tell you four poets that I really enjoy. Really, probably the ones that I've been exposed to the most. Um, Charles Bukowski, Walt Whitman, Robert Frost, and E.E. E. Cummings. Those are probably going to be my top four. I don't know how they relate to Mount Rushmore, but we're going to go with that. Question number seven, what is your favorite poetry collection? That would be in On Love by Charles Bukowski. And this is a collection of love poems. As much love poems as you can get from Charles Bukowski. Question eight, rhyming. Talk about it. Yes, no, not anymore. Um, I really don't care about rhyming poetry or non-rhyming poetry. I have no stance on it. I think it serves its purpose in some formats. And the, then again, I don't think it's necessary to poetry. Question number nine, barring free verse, what is your favorite poetic form? And I'm not really 100% sure this counts as a poetic form, but I really love the what's now called Insta Poetry or Insta Poets. Um, and that is just the poets and poetry that are really little snippets that you find on like Instagram. It's, you know, hence Insta Poets. One of my favorite Insta Poets is Michael Fude, Fude, F-A-U-D-E-T, not really sure how to say that, I'm sorry. Um, this is his most recent collection, Winter of Summers, and let me just pick one out. He does have some sh kind of short stories and some longer length poetries in here. Um, but here's a good one. A Single Kiss. Just when I thought I understood love, all that it could possibly be, you came along and explained its true meaning with a single kiss. And while that, a lot of people don't consider that actual poetry, more of a statement or um, I don't know what you would call it, um, it's just a couple of lines, um, I just really enjoy some of this stuff. 10. Humor in poetry or no? Um, yeah, definitely like humor in poetry. I think it can be cathartic, um, especially when you're looking at a tough subject matter like loss or, you know, grief or um, like a heartbreak. Um, and even, you know, some love, love poems have great humor in them as well. Not, nothing in life has to be serious 100% of the time. And humor is a great way to dissect and dive into and kind of unpack a, a difficult subject matter. Question number 11, what elements do you think contribute to the best poetry? And for me, um... I don't really have a lot of elements that I, um, I don't know how to answer this question. Uh, for me, I really enjoy the, the ones that have the theme or topic or talk about love in some form. Um, love, heartbreak, grief, loss, those kinds of things. Something that's relatable. For me, poetry has to be relatable and um, accessible. Some of the older poets, uh, like Emily Dickinson, I know I'm going to catch flack from Adrian for this one, but I don't like her poetry because it is too symbol, too, um, too much symbolism is used in her poetry. Not enough real world in your face. This is this is this kind of, kind of language. Charles Bukowski is accessible poetry to me because it is very much um, real world scenarios and situations. You can relate to it without having to dissect each line and symbolism in the, in the poems. Now finally, who do I tag? This is by far the absolute toughest, toughest part of this prompt for me because Adrian has already tagged everybody that I follow that I would think reads poetry. Um, so, I am going to go out on a limb here. 
I'm going to tag Julie over at Pages and Pens because I know that she reads and writes poetry. And I think that's the only one I'm going to officially tag because I don't, looking through my subscription, subs, subscription lists, I don't know of anybody else that I, that isn't already tagged that does this or hasn't already done this because several people have already done this tag that weren't tagged. Um, so if you do read poetry of any sort, I tag you in this. So that's it. Um, not a very good tagger in this one. I'm sorry. So if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, follow, share, and do this tag. Until the next video. I'll talk to you later. Bye.